you doing, my friends? Joe Bajari here on the Joe Bajari channel, where we cover all things superheroes, video games, comic books, TV shows, all things geeky here in one place, but we've been focusing- Board games. A lot of board games, yeah. We've got Wes here. We've got Lasercorn. We've got So Hinky. I'm here. We've got links to all their stuff down below. The last few weeks, we had Mari and, uh, and Flitz. Now we got Wes. This is actually the first time Same. you're back on playing board games, so that's yeah. fun. Yeah. Uh, and today is a very special day. Because today, on March 31st, the very first episode of my cartoon comes out on Arcade Cloud. Woo! The worst ways you to die. Cartoon? I've got a cartoon. That's crazy. I know I don't I'm, talk yeah, about yeah, it. I've never heard about this cartoon. Not once. Uh, uh, but it is now out on Arcade Cloud. I've got a link down below. The cartoon is called The Worst Ways to Die. Uh, and the reason we've got these guys here is because uh, Soinky and Lasergorn are actually in the first episode, which yeah. is, uh, as you'll find out when you go over there, The Worst Ways to Die in Final Fantasy VII. And uh, coming out in a few weeks will be episode two, which uh, Liz, Gorn, and Wes will be in for the worst ways to die in Minecraft. Yeah. I don't know if I was supposed to tell you what the episode was, but I did. Ha 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 ha. Spoilers. It's your uh, cartoon. It's my cartoon. Can I can do whatever I want. I want. Yeah. Um, but because the episode, uh, the, the cartoon is called Worst Ways to Die, and you see the worst ways to die in all of the different video games that you love, uh, I actually found Stupid Deaths, a game by University Games, and I thought, what a thematic and wonderful game to play on the day that I wanted to talk about my cartoon, Worst Ways to Die. The game works like this. There is a prompt on the card, which is actually kind of a long paragraph about a stupid way someone has died. And then the reader will read it out, and the three other players will have to guess if they thought it was true or false. Whoever gets it correctly gets to move one space. Whoever doesn't has to stand still. Whoever gets still. it correctly? Whoever gets it correct. Ah. Or guesses correctly. Yes. Yeah. Even one of those would have been Any of those two. Correct. correct. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you were what? Incorrectly. No, I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna say next to right, but next to right works too. Um, so if you don't get it correct, you don't move. But for each person that guesses incorrectly, you like how I used them both there? Mm -hmm. uh, for each person that, that guesses incorrectly, death shall move one space closer. This is an outdated death. He's got the scythe, you see, that's his old thing. Now he just holds a corona. Yeah. And uh, chases yeah. you with mm -hmm. that. So uh, this game is, is Stupid Death. Uh, stupid Death. Because <laughs> of the coronavirus! Yeah. Uh, this is now yeah. the coronavirus, and it is uh, going to try to catch us all, and we shall try to get away. Wes, yes, you have asthma. The coronavirus could kill you. <laughs> it actually, <could> <laughs> <laughs> you're right. That is scary. Uh, if if the reader reads the prompt and all three of us get it incorrect, then uh, the reader gets to move two spaces and death shall move three spaces. Wait, so, so okay. theoretically, if you wanted to screw over the reader, you just guessed differently than the other two people at the table, and then they would never move two spaces. Ah, but you, you, at the same time. you vote using true or false. Oh, you just flip it up at the same time. Yeah, then you, you flip I it see, over. I gotcha. Uh, and as sense. death catches up to you, you can use your extra life to move one space forward, but if he does land on you, you don't have an extra life, you're dead and out of the game. First one makes the other side of the board wins. Easy peasy. Lemon speezy. John Polidori. Born 1770, died 1821. Jeez. A British doctor, John Polidori, wrote The Vampire in 1819, the first published vampire story of modern times. He became so obsessed with the, mythic, with the mythical creatures that he slept every night with a clove of garlic in his mouth. One night, he choked on the garlic and died. Is uh, that true? Or is it false? I, I got my vote down. I got my vote. I was leaning one way and then I leant the other way. Yeah. Lented? Okay. Uh, count of three, flip them over. Yeah. Sure. One, two, three, flip. True. False. I did false. Right. It is false. Hey. So, so death moves one. One space for death. And, and then, uh, silver and uh, black move one. Why do we have silver and black? All right. I'm the red piece. You're the orange piece. Yep. Uh, okay. Louis Le Prince, born 1841, presumed dead in 1890. So a lovely 49 years of life. Um, although not stupid, Le Prince's death was definitely mysterious. He created the world's first short films on a train to Paris to patent his technology. Le Prince and his luggage disappeared from two separate locked compartments. He was never seen again. Thomas Edison patented the motion picture camera. So it's like a conspiracy theory. Kind of, yeah. I want it to be true. I it's a mystery, true, but yeah. I feel like I almost would have heard about it. All right. All right. One, All two, right. three. Yell the answer. Uh, true. True. I said false. The answer is true. Oh, what? 
That's, he was that's uh, actually dope. presumed dead by yeah. a mysterious You, you want to know what put me over the edge to go with it? I'm like, this is stupid deaths. And I don't. I didn't feel like the writers would do a presumed death unless it was true. Yeah, exactly. And they were really reaching uh, for it. I don't know. One person got it wrong, so Inky. Yeah. Death moves one space. Uh, the coronavirus moves one space closer. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. Um, now you may read. I will read. Yeah. Okay. He's not moving I'm quickly. more fluish. <laughs> <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte, born 1769, died 1821. Napoleon Bonaparte was a French military and political leader who rose to prominence during the French Revolution. But after losing the Battle of Waterloo to the British, Napoleon was exiled to the island of St. Helena, where he died after choking on a fishbone. I mean, yeah, they're doing a real famous person, so this should be easy. But yeah, I don't remember how, how he died, so. All right, I'm just guessing. Remember, we'll, we'll shout the answer in. Uh -huh. Three, two, one. Charles! Oh, true. Um, I thought he returned from exile, didn't he? I, uh, I guess we'll find he out. He did, but then he, he in fact did return from exile, and it was false. No! Ah, dang it. The, uh, the thing about these cards is one little detail could be false, and then it's false. That's true. So, like... This is basically implying he died in St. Helena, but I, the, the reason, yeah, he felt, he before I even looked sad, at it, right? I was like, oh, he, like, he came back from exile at some point. And, like, I mounted thought, a fairly, uh, an almost, uh, like a comeback move. tour. Uh, the coronavirus moves two spaces closer to us. Why two? Uh, because, because two people got it wrong. Uh, but laser coronavirus. No, I thought, oh, oh, it's, yeah, it's per person. Yeah, person. All right. We've got Catherine Mac McNamara. With a C or a K. That makes a difference, right? Huge difference. Every tiny detail matters. Yes, it's a C. Okay. Born, does that change anything for you? No, not at all. Oh, it's true sure? now. It's, it's definitely true. true. Yeah, because yeah, only fake Catherine spelled Born, okay. 1841, died 1917. McNamara was observing a funeral in a suburb of Sydney, Australia. During the procession, McNamara would made, had just made the remark, wonder who will be next when she was overcome with a seizure that proved fatal. I just want it to be true. Uh, all right. All right, reveal in three, two, one. True. True. False. I feel like if you're making something up, you can go bigger than that. Well, guys. There are a lot of cards. Congratulations. It was true. Oh! Hey! I've not moved yet. I'm very bad at this game. <laughs> I've got that, like, writer vision going right yeah, now. I uh, can kind of see into the writer's room of this game. Now, Who like, hasn't gotten off the starting spot? Me! That's you? Yes. Oh, wow, you suck at this game. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Catherine with a K. I'm yeah. going to leave you behind with the three dogs as the coronavirus takes me over. Hmm. Patrick uh, Chesterman, born 1921, died 1982. Chesterman of County Cork, Ireland, Love nothing more than gambling on horse races. His big payoff on I, I, I suck at this. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm canceling that impression. With a 20 quid bet on a seven horse accumulator, when his horse in the seventh race came in two lengths clear, he earned over half a million pounds. Chesterman died of shock. That's funny. This is the most Joven, like, like previous life story I've ever yeah. heard in my this life. Is, like, 1982, ever. this makes sense. Five years I, later, I was re reading I, I, exactly. I think it's true. But I'm voting against what I think because who the hell's named Chesterman? Chesterman. That was honestly it does sound my like thing. a made That's what yeah, it was. Like, yeah. like Sir Chesterman. All yeah, right, that's well, gonna be my character. Reveal in three. Three, two, one. False. false. True. It is false. Yes! yes! Who's named Chesterman? <laughs> no one. <laughs> no, no one. Chesterman. It's a made up name. <laughs> Death is forward. You guys are up one. Yay! Yeah, we're all hanging out, trying to escape death, and you're just getting coronavirus. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah. man. I keep touching my face over here. Uh, we've got Joseph Ignis Guillotine. Definitely fake. <laughs> guillotine, right? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely fake. All right, Guillotine. Oh, don't look at it. Guillotine. I didn't look. Yeah, that's a, uh, Guillotine should have an E at the Can end. I, I, I don't, I don't need to hear anything guillotine? else. <laughs> I don't need yeah. to hear anything. I'm locking in my answer. Or it answer. might be guillotine. Uh, yeah, I thought there was an E. But I'm going to go with guillotine. That's it. Dr. Guillotine was a French physis physicist, physician, French physician, French physician. French physician. <laughs> Best remembered <laughs> oh for the God. instrument of execution he invented, the guillotine. Aha, it does have an E at the end. Uh, when he fell out with his uh, bloodthirsty revolutionary uh, Robert Speer, uh, Dr. Guillotine was Pierre what? Speer. Pierre Robespierre, right? Yeah. Does it not say his first name? Revolutionary Robespierre. Robespierre. No, it doesn't say. Uh, hmm. uh, Dr. Guillotine was a 
appropriately executed by his own invention. Jeez, man, I'm gonna, that sounds true. I, it absolutely sounds true, and the only thing throwing me off is, why is guillotine spelled with an E, and his name is not? Yeah. Right. Uh, three, two, one, reveal! False. True. Just based on the E. Uh, Only it is going. false. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I totally would have voted true if you hadn't shown me the card, because the E is the only thing that stopped me. Uh, the that, misspelling. Paco, if you're editing this, do a quick Google search. What was wrong about this one? I thought it was true. Um, all right, well, Wes and Lasercorn get that one spot forward. What if it, What if the only thing false about it is that guillotine yeah. is spelled there? <laughs> uh, and uh, coronavirus moves one step closer to me yet again. Ready? Yes! Crown Prince Philip of France, born 1119, died 1131. Wow, that was not a long life. No. Crown Prince Philip died unexpectedly while out riding his horse through the streets of Paris. The horse unfortunately tripped over a small black pig that suddenly appeared from behind a pile of dung, throwing the prince to the ground and killing him. Gosh. That sounds just ridiculous enough to, sound, to be true. Three, two, one. False. True. False. That's a huge pile of dung if it's hiding a pig. It's Wes, why did you ruin it? It's true. Ah, Yay! Man. That's the first one I got wrong. Uh, so two of us got it wrong. Ah! On, Coronavirus on, moves on. one, two, and Jovan, Wes moves his one. Jovan, you should probably start Death moving that give it to you. Yeah, Death I, give it to you. Um, I thought it was going to be false because I thought it would be a black cat, and that's where the uh, superstition, that superstition came, from? came from. Oh, like don't, mm. yeah, when it crosses your path. All right. You know, you've got a 50% chance rainbow. each time. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> how are you? Yeah. The distortion know. field is really no, kicking like, in here. Yeah. I haven't moved. Death has gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Coronavirus has moved nine spots. I, I've moved none. Well, to be fair, the best of us has only moved five spots, so. Ah, uh, great. Someone get me off this cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> God. Coronavirus <laughs> jokes. Funny till I get it. Uh, <laughs> Joey Kak, uh, Ka Kalk Agni. Kalk Agni. I just wanted him to say uh, Joey Kak. Born 1958, <laughs> died 1977. Oh, that's sad. What an unfortunate. Uh, 19 year old uh, Kalk, Kalk Agni uh, was attacked in the streets of Daytona Beach, Florida. Well, your first mistake was going to Florida. Yeah, just, yeah this feels out. true already. Yeah. Florida, Shot dead Florida by man. another teen who wanted the expensive sneakers he was wearing. The story might have been more tragic had uh, Kalk Agni uh, himself not stolen the shoes from a tourist at Knife Point the week before. Interesting. Florida man. Yeah. Florida man. That sounds like a Florida man story. All right. I'm locked in. Yeah. One, two, three. True. 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 Yeah. Hey, I get to move forward two spaces. No! no! <laughs> and Death so, killed you. It's no, three. He it, moves three, right? No, he moves two. Oh. Because we all got it wrong. <laughs> you do have to use your life, buddy. All right, well, that's, that's from here we got Wes. I moved two. One, two. Oh, Wes is, uh, and Wes then, is on a life And boat. then one, two, three, we're wrong. Oh. One, two, three. The coronavirus. Has caught up with no, me. No, 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 but your your flu vaccine temporarily I went to the off. doctor. Yeah. Uh, and he gave me a shot. Uh, he swapped my mouth a little bit. So I, I used my one life, my extra life, and that actually moves me one spot. I think, oh wow, death actually moved you one spot. That's nice. <laughs> so He just shoved you. <laughs> yeah, this should this should be like, uh, like you went, like you had a slight cough and you were overly nervous, and the doctor's like, you're fine, go home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the doctor was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better get this one right. Yes, I really better get this one right. Yeah, but if you get it right and two of us get it wrong, then you still die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to depend on us. You gotta move off the starting point, buddy. King Adolf Frederick, unfortunate name. Oh, born 1710, so so oh, yeah. it wasn't yeah, unfortunate it was in his far. time. Died 1771. Known as the king who ate himself to death, Adolf Frederick ruled Sweden for 20 years. He died of indigestion after eating a vast banquet, topped off with 14 servings of dessert. And I've had my thumb on this the whole this, time, so I don't even know. This, this was the past life that now, was me. Now here's the me. here's yeah, the annoying. You're King Adolf. Can I yeah. tell you the annoying part about that is like everything sounds true, but it could have been 13 portions of dessert. Like you know, who's sitting there counting his 
desserts, and then he dies. Uh, I could see someone being like, he's going back for a, four, a 14th serving. Uh, <laughs> I, it, it's literally the life of Brian. Yeah, yeah. He eats the mint afterwards. Yeah. I'm hoping, I'm actually rooting for all of us. I hope we all get it. I don't even need to win the game. I just don't want to die to the coronavirus. So if we all get it right, I'm fine. All right. All right. One, two, two. three. True. False. Damn it, Wes. I so, voted true. Oh, true. Uh, it is true. Hey! Death moves one spot. Yeah, you, you but escaped. But Joe yes. stays just ahead it was, And I move one. It was uh, just me hoping that it wasn't myself in a past life. I need you all to get this right. <laughs> so you'd move one, two, yeah, and then one, two, three. Yeah, yeah I did the math, Wes. Actually, if, if... Well, it would kill all three If we all get it wrong, yeah, we would all have a problem. All right. I'd be yeah, I, I literally need you guys all to get it right. Give it to us. Come on. Barry Switzer. No. Nope. Already 18... false. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid name. Uh, born uh, 1943, died 1978. Barry was a keen uh, dendrologist. Dedrolo Cover the answer and let me look. Aficionado of trees and wooded plants. Dendrologist? That thing, dendrologist. An aficionado of trees and wooded plants. And enjoyed climbing trees. In 1978, he went on a trip to the Amazon rainforest. Barry was 100 feet. 30 meters if you do that math, up a giant Wimba tree when he was attacked by a flying squirrel, lost his footing, and fell to his death. Man, so much about this seems fake. Name, Wimba tree, is that even a real thing? <laughs> flying squirrel? I need like, you all to like guess a, the same. It's like a Dr. Seuss thing. This is... And I need you all to get it correct. I, I don't know. It this is true. just ridiculous enough to be true. I think it is true, but I want to go false. I, I, my first instinct is false, but I'm second guessing myself, and now I think I really want to it's, say true. It's almost too ridiculous to make up. Okay, locked in. Everyone's locked in. The truth is the cards. True. You uh, second guessed yourself, and you managed yourself for second guess. I'm I mad did. at you for second guess. It was false. Damn it! I knew it. You're all wrong. There's probably no such thing as a oh, wimba tree. Oh, this is great. We all die. Uh, I, I moved two spots. I'm now with uh, laser corn and so inky, and then death goes one, two, three spots. Yeah, and, and you get the coronavirus, and I got the like, coronavirus. We need a booster shot now. Because you yeah. infected us. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, it's like the zombie apocalypse. You've been, you ran up to us, guys. I think. <laughs> <laughs> See, either way, it was a win for me. <laughs> uh, I'm officially out of the game. Uh, uh, I have officially so. died from the coronavirus. Yeah. Uh, Wes is trying. Wes is trying to sabotage us. That's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. He was safe. You guys were both on the right track. I said there, there's false. no such thing as a Wimba tree. I have me First instinct mm -hmm. here, not okay. second guessing myself again. But, you should both court. <laughs> <laughs> Basil Brown, born 1926, died 1974. Basil was a 48 year old health food advocate from Croydon, England. He drank himself to death by consuming 10 gallons, 38 liters, of carrot juice in 10 days causing him to overdose on vitamin A and suffer severe liver damage. At the time of death, his skin was bright yellow. I got my answer. Yep. All right. One, two, three. True. 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 It's true. Bam! Ah! Woo! Well, Suck it, death! Wait, do I move forward? You don't. No. Oh. But death did not move forward. But I do. That's good. Yeah. Um, okay, so this name sounds very familiar. Uh, Adam Rickett. <laughs> Uh, born 1925, died 1975. I think this is the oldest out of everyone we've had so far. Yeah, 25 50, to 75, 50 yeah. years. Um, convicted murderer Adam Rickett, aka the Sioux Falls Strangler, Ooh. was facing the death penalty until his sentence was commuted to life in prison in 1973. Two years later, he stole some ramen noodles from another prisoner and was trying to eat quickly before uh, being discovered. He choked to death on the dry noodles. One, two, three. False. 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 Two falses? You're both correct. Oh! Hey! Yeah, yeah, you guys are moving, uh, moving further away from. No one chokes to death on yeah. dry ramen. I'm, no one's here, dumb enough to eat it that here way. Here's my dumb Not thought process, which was probably the, even the wrong thought process. Is I, is I was basically like, if you're smart enough to murder enough people, like get away with it for long enough that they give you a name, then you probably aren't choking on dry ramen. Yeah. All right. Uh, next round. Uh, okay. Elkhorn's got the thumb on the answer. He doesn't know it either. I have no idea. Yeah. 
Uh, Dr. James Berry, born 1789. I don't like that you know my thumbs on the answer because that implies to me that you were looking at the answer. I just thought about it. Or your eyes went towards the answer. I've been I'm dead. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm a ghost. I am a specter, sir. Yes, chasing after I us with the coronavirus. <laughs> just like that wow. when you actually pass away. It'll be like the day of my wake and you're there at eight o'clock at night like, are you supposed to do something? Are you doing, no, no. Are you doing Irish wake when you die, by oh, the way? Oh, hell yeah. There's going to be booze. I might I'll still do there. an Irish wake for my for my 33rd birthday, actually. Yeah. Oh, we'll, nice. uh, yeah. we'll be at the wake, and then Liz is going to be like, isn't Joven supposed to be here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually probably going to die before you. I'm older, and I'm not taking care of myself, so. Yeah, nice. He's, Just, he, he's, he has. But I want you to go to my wake. I'll have a, 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 a like a, a present wake so that you can come to mine before oh, you go. So you're going yeah. to do a fwake? A fwake. A fwake. Yeah. A fake wake. wake. <laughs> fake wake. I like fake wake better. It's like All a right. shake wake. All right. <laughs> Dr. James Berry, born 1789, died 1865. Okay, so he had a long life. Dr. Berry was a soldier and an incredible surgeon, the first to successfully perform a cesarean birth where both mother and child survived. After dying, his wishes to be buried without undressing were ignored and his secret discovered. Margaret Ann Bulky had lived as a man for more than 60 years. Okay, so it's a it's a it's, me, it's a doctor who was secretly a woman. Well, what's now the, it's changing. What, what's the year? 1789. Oh, because uh, yeah. she wouldn't have been able to yes. be a doctor. Yeah, yeah and uh, it makes sense. I, I don't know. I want to say true. I, I also kind of want to say true. I want to. I haven't looked either. I want to guess on. <laughs> I'm not giving you a move. I, I, I know. I'm not gonna <laughs> move. I'm just I'm, guessing the guess. Yeah. All right, locked in. Locked yeah. in. in. Three, two, one. True. I'm also guessing true. I feel like I've heard this true story. over here. I feel like I heard this story. Was this on Drunk History? It might have been. All right. Three, two, one, I'm pulling my thumb off. It is true. Oh, hey, yeah. yeah. Death is, ain't going nowhere. Someone leave in the comments if they've seen this on Drunk History. I know I've heard this story somewhere before. But hearing of fake sounding names. Mm -hmm. Are we, can we go for it? Yeah, I like the Wait. transition. <laughs> yeah, no, well done. Harry Dachlian. D-A-G-H-L-I-A-N. <laughs> Dachlian? Da ah, Dachlian. Dachlian. Born 1921. Sounds like some species that's attacking the Star <laughs> Trek crew. The Dachlians! They're through our shields. Yeah. What do we do, Captain? <laughs> we shake in our chair a bunch. <laughs> yeah. All right. Harry Dachlian, born 1921, died 1945. Dachlian worked on the Manhattan Project, which produced the atomic bombs used in World War II. He accidentally irradiated himself mm. when he dropped a tungsten brick on a bomb core, causing a chain reaction. The bomb core was later dubbed the Demon Core after killing a second lab worker similarly. Locked in. So even Locked in a, in. In, even if you're both wrong, you two are still safe, but boy, would that catch him up. Okay, uh, so, one, three, two, one. False. True. I'm pretty sure I've heard the term demon core before. I think that's a real thing. That's because Doom came out earlier <laughs> this year, or this month. I said the false. The answer is true. Yep. Oh, dang it. Right. So one up for, for Elkhorn and coronavirus moves one space closer. Back in the danger zone. You are in the danger zone, good sir, but you aren't reading now, danger so that's good. Zone. Yeah, I have an opportunity. I am. Here. We've got Henry Pert. Uh, birth date unknown, died 1552. Oh, wow. Oh, this is an old one. Pert managed to shoot himself with his own bow and arrow. He had loaded his longbow and pulled to shoot, but the arrow failed to dislodge. While examining the bow to determine why, the arrow released, shooting straight into Pert's face and lodging just above one eye. He died the next day. I was leaning false crosser. until he said he died the next day, and I was like, that's a very interesting... Twist, like yeah. twist, I feel like it's true. I'm, I'm guessing true. It's just like the Face way an arrow bow. works. Like I can't imagine the Will arrow you? lodging and then still having the Knock forward. Knock the arrow and then. Because I, I mean, mean, you still need the. You'd someone, have to, be able to move it. Someone and throughout look at history it. has killed themselves with a crossbow. I know that has to be true. A crossbow, yeah. But it says, this just says crossbow. No, a bow. It's just a longbow. It's just a bow and arrow. It literally says he had loaded his longbow. All right, locked in in three, two, one. I'm guessing true. All right. And the answer is true. Hey! How do you kill yourself with a longbow, you <laughs> how do, Okay, yeah, first off, how do you get your longbow arrow lodged? Yeah. Yeah. Like, did he get it caught in the leather propel. straps That's... and he like, didn't take the string off of it or something? You know, like, if Jogenshire was alive in uh, the 1500s. Yeah, 
that is that is interesting wow. to me because that implies that he pulled the the bow back and, and he the got bow, stuck and the bow stayed back. Yeah. Yeah, and then he turned it around. All right, uh, Thales of Miletus. God, sounds like a <laughs> magic card from Theros, right? Yeah, it is. Thales, Thales, of Thales, of Thales of Miletus. For sure. He's a he's a three, legendary three, five, five. When, yeah, when, <laughs> when he enters the battlefield, exile target enchantment opponent controls <laughs> until Thales of Miletus leaves the battle. Uh, born 1624, born C 1624, died. Circa. Cir oh, circa. 546 BC. A new circle. Generally regarded as the first Wait, Greek philosopher. He was born 1624? Circa. 624. Oh, 624. Circa. Wait, the, it, he's around <laughs> as the Greek. BC. Go with that. Say that one line again. He was known as the first Greek. Generally, generally regarded as the first generally Greek philosopher. Right? Thales. Greek believed, philosopher. Okay. Thales believed that all physical matter derived from water. According to one account, he died by fire, walking into a burning house to prove that he couldn't be hurt by something that was made of the same essence he was. Uh, um, all right, locked in. Three, two, one. Who did? I went true. True. I also went true. False. Oh! oh. Death. Oh, sh**. We're Am dead. I dead? You're, You're dead. dead. We're both dead. Wait, do I get to move up, though? No, did you use your extra life? Yeah. The oh, wait, no, 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 we both no. got it wrong. He moves two. I get to move two. Oh! One, two. Oh! So it's just oh, a Holy, you're dead! And then I die from the coronavirus? Uh -huh. I will remember you. <laughs> Laser Kill corn. me! Laser I blame you. I would have been way further ahead of death if it weren't for you. <laughs> Laser corn avoids death. So now that we're down to our last two players, I don't think it actually says this in the instructions book, but to balance out the game a little bit, we're going to uh, do rapid fire questions back and forth so that they both can answer true or false. So everyone's moving or everyone's staying. Death might be coming for them both. Charles II of uh, Navarre, born 1332, died 1387. Charles, in charge, uh, was in such a state of decay and disease, his physician ordered him to be wrapped in linen, covered with alcohol, and enclosed from the neck down. After sewing up the linen, instead of cutting off the loose threads, a nurse burnt off the ends, setting the linen on fire and killing Charles. <laughs> True or false? Did you see this? I don't know, but that's just a hilarious. Like, what a, what a ridiculous I want that to be to animated somehow. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Rapid if there's fire. any uh, fans out there that know how to do animation, please feel free to uh, cut out moments yeah, of this please. to animate. Yeah. Three, yeah, two, one. False. True. Ooh. And Elkhorn gets to move forward. No! Oh! And you die! And Wes! I... He has to no! use his token. Yeah, you gotta use your extra life. Oh, 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 token. Oh, yeah. And, and you move one. one. I forgot you still had your token. Uh, I thought you were doomed. Token. Uh, I thought you were doomed! Uh, right. Lasercorn, one spot away from uh, yeah. being from... released from the coronavirus. Yes. Here we are. I'm the <laughs> survivor. Just, they just shoot Rapid you. fire. Yeah. Deborah Morris. Short and sweet. Born 1867, died 1912. Deborah, a dedicated member of the suffragette, move, uh, yeah, suffragette movement, was killed at a London march by voting booths falling from a horse and cart. Jeez, the irony. <laughs> voting booth falling from a horse and cart. Three, right. two, one. True. True. It is false. No! No! Oh! no! It gets both of us! No! Yes, oh! no! oh! oh! Hey, but I was further ahead. Do I win? No! Everyone dies. The coronavirus has killed us all. I will remember you. Guys, I actually, I really enjoyed Stupid Death. Sometimes we play games on here that I might not play again. Uh, this is one that I will take home to like friends and family and play again. Stupid Death by University Games. Go check it out. We've got Wes here. We've got Lasercorn. We've got Sony. Laser uh, we are in the it's midst true. of some D and D on my channel, Lasercorn's channel. So go check those out if you haven't already. Separate campaigns. Separate campaigns. Uh, so Hinky is live streaming all the time. All of the time. It's hard Wait, to get him on the phone. Not television slash so Hinky. And uh, Wes is working do that on, my channel. on a giant project, uh, and you'll be seeing that on, on the IRL Bros. So go uh, go watch old videos of that. Live? May 7th. May 7th. May As of right now. Seven. Yeah. And, and as he said, new D&D &D on the Lasercorn channel, youtube.com slash Lasercorn Fridays. And, and just one Stop. more time, because I love talking about it. My new cartoon where you can hear our voices is on Arcade Cloud as of today. Uh, worst Ways to Die in Video Games first episode is Final Fantasy VII. The next episode will be Minecraft. 
So uh, go check that out. Until the next time, we'll see you later. Coronavirus. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you need some more Jovenshire in your life, we have two videos there on the right. And don't forget to subscribe because if you like this video, I guarantee you're going to like the other stuff that we do here. And if you get a chance, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram because we create a lot of content there that doesn't always make it to YouTube. Go check it out.